So the point of this hopefully isn't to scare you away. I just want you to have a solid foundation and how this is all working. And um, I'm going to get rid of that file. And we're going to move on to the next one. And if we wanted to, we could accept arguments from the command line. And then with those arguments, we could um, we could put in, you know, uh, we, let me see what this this code's doing. We have name. And so we're getting a name, we're getting the argument from the command line here when this program runs, and then we're putting that into the file, into the text, creating a file, and then writing that, writing that, um, you know, that text to, to the file. And so uh, this is, a, you know, just a way that we could accept an argument. So it's very similar to the previous example, but now we're getting an argument from the command line. Um, see if there's something more to say about this and the one thing you need to know is like if I have a string I could just use strings new reader and then that string implements the reader interface and I could pass that wherever a reader is asked for so it's like oh you should know okay there's a little tool I could use so if I run this now and there are some instructions here so at the terminal, you want to pass in your variable after you run it. So I wanted to pass in, let me just make this a little bit wider. And bring it down just a, oh, that's as far as I go. And K. And uh, go run main go. And I can pass in James. And so now it, you know, printed out this first one. So that's OS args 0. And so SRG0 just gives me some information about, I don't know what. And, uh, and, then, <laughs> and then here's OSRG1. And that you can look that up. We'll see how to look, try to see if we can find how to look that up here in a second. But there's James, right? That's what I entered at the terminal. And uh, then if I come over here and look, there's my file. And that file's now been built as an HTML with whatever is entered. So it's just kind of an interesting thing. And uh, OSRGs, how would we learn about that? Again, this is like nice to know, not need to know. But maybe if I put in help, <coughs> I got help for the terminal. I'm going to type in go help. And so uh, now go help, I have build, clean, dock, environment, bug, fix, generate, git, install, list, run, test, tool, version, vet. And then go path environment packages test flag. So I'm just looking here to see if there's something about um, command line variables. And uh, so that is going to be we are we were doing go run right. So we might type in help. So go to use it we we do go help and then command. So we want go help run. And so we're going to do go help run and to learn about that. And uh, run compiles and runs the main package. And so I'm just kind of looking to see if there's anything in there about um, args. So I'm not seeing it. I uh, haven't looked at this in a while. I can't remember exactly where it is right now. But of course, we could always do uh, golang os args and then see what comes up. Um, os, cool, let's see what's here. And then args. And uh, args hold command line arguments starting with the program name. So that first one is the program name in position zero. So here's var args. Um, and it holds command line arguments. So var args, os args. And what did we use here? We used os args one. There we go. All right? So that, that's where we found it. So I thought it might be at that one, but I wasn't paying attention because it's prefixed with os, which tells me it's from package os. So uh, that's it. args holds command line arguments starting with the program name. That's kind of cool. So I want you all to code. So I want you in your environment to create this one. And uh, <clears throat> let me show you what I want you to do. And we are in 6330. Oops. And 
Yeah, I'll rename that. And so new go file, I'll call it main, and then func main, package main, func main, and uh, we have os, I'm going to func dot print line os dot args, and then we need to access things, so I could do zero, one, I could do two, I need to pass in two arguments then, I could do three. And uh, and then that that could that's that could be it. And so when I run this, I need to get there. So I'm going to just do cd. I don't know how far up I have to go. And then cd into where am I? It goes to eleven. Oh, cd golang web dev. And I'm uh, changing into that, and then go run main, and I could do James, I don't know, secret agent, 007. And so printed out those three args, which I passed in. So just write a little program so that you all are, you know, and just print out some OS args. And there's, there's the program.